everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that happens super fast in a golf swing, which is the release. Why is the release so important? It's because it does control the angle of the club face and impact and of course the swing speed. We often hear from our playing buddies that we're using too much our hands and wrists to hit the ball and we're not rotating the body enough. It is the same thing that I tell my students. We got to make sure that we rotate correctly in order to release the club on plane. Technically, the release happens with the wrist and the hands. It comes from the wrist and the hands. You got to try this. So take your stance. I'd like for you to lock your arms, lock your elbow and your wrist. Just gotta try to push the club away from your chest as much as possible and then just rotate the body, okay? Not moving the hands and just rotate as fast as you can compare to just using the wrist and the hands, okay? See, I'm just going to pick the club up with my wrist and my hands and try to take and try to swing the club as fast as I can because obviously the speed with the hands and the wrist is a lot faster. That's why the release does happen with the hands and the wrist. Now I'm going to show you how the release should look like. I would like for you to get into a pre-impact position where the club is parallel to the ground, club face is in line with my spine, my left wrist is flat, my elbow is bent, my chest is facing right of the ball. Okay, so this is the pre-impact position. So from the front view, at pre-impact position, when we get to the ball, technically the club and the arms, the wrist is starting to release the club at the ball, where my left arm and left hand starts to straighten, okay, and gets in line with the club, and my right wrist starts to flatten. Okay, this is the release. After impact, post impact, we have our both arms extended away from the chest. The club hit is moved as far as it can from my chest. All right, the chest is facing the club hit. My hip is rotated towards the left side, and both arms is extended. So this is how the release should look like. Okay. So before you work on the release, it's super important that the club is actually moving on plane, where the club is parallel to the ground again club face in line with my spine it's not too open not too shut or the club is not coming from way under the plane or way above the plane i know that a lot of golfers do play a bit under the plane or above the plane they somewhat work it out but to release the club correctly and swing it at maximum speed i suggest you got to work on rotating your body and getting the club on plane first before getting working on the release okay a few common mistakes that i see in golfers and how they release the club is some of them try to hold the angle as long as possible while rotating the body ended up not releasing the club fast enough this will definitely send the ball towards the right side or you ended up hitting it way behind okay the other one is releasing it too early this is one of the most common mistakes i see in a lot of golfers because some of us cast the club a little bit too fast from the back uh, from the top of the back swing coming over the top then it causes you to release the club too early the other one is trying to get the ball up in the air a lot of us try to get the ball up in the air especially with the longer club we end up bending our both arms and the and the hand is still higher than the club head post impact at this position where the hands is over here the club head is supposed to be up already so some of us if you try to get the ball up in the air like that we're going to bend our both arms and not letting the club release and not letting the club move fast enough and there's no acceleration in the swing at all there's a few drills that i like to share with you and hopefully it'll help you to release the club better Number one, I'd like you to get a tee and stick it down into the stick it into the ground. Or if you're practicing on the mat at a driving range, you can just lay it down on the mat. Okay, so about I'll say about four to five feet in front of the ball. Okay, just in line with the ball. Get to a setup position. Okay, and I'd like for you to get the club set the club at your pre-impact position. Again, club is in line with my spine, left wrist is flat, club is parallel to the ground, right elbow is bent, and my chest is facing right off the ball. From here, we're going to start releasing the club, okay? So it's going to look somewhat like that at impact, and then I would like for you to point the club head at the T. Okay, the club head is pointed at the T, and it's rotated. So you can see that my right hand is actually somewhat covering my left hand over here. You just barely see my glove, okay? If my handle is going way ahead, you'll see a, uh, if my handle is going way ahead you're gonna see my grip right so I would like for you to make sure your club is pointing at the T arms both arms extended club face is square in line with my spine hip is open okay so you try to get the disposition 
Flap should start at parallel to the ground, pre-impact position. From here, we're going to take a slight turn and then we're going to release the club at the ball. We're just going to make sure both arms are extended as far as it can away from the chest and pointing towards the tee in front. Drill number two is what I call the 1990 drill. The 1990 drill, we're going to work on swinging the club with our hands and our wrists. Okay? So, I want you to put your feet together. So, just bring the club to about, we'll call about half swing. Half swing to, half swing to three quarter is still okay. Your wrist should be about 90 degree angle over here. So, from here, the club is pointing towards the sky. And I would like you to swing it as fast as possible and get the club pointing towards the sky. This will help a lot of golfers where they have to handle way ahead or above the club head throughout in, through, through, um, post impact. So if you have your handle ahead of the club, above the club head post impact, you got to work on this. Again, get the club to about 90 degree, get the club to about 90 degree and swing the hands as fast as possible to this position. So you just you can just practice like that and hit some balls like that on the driving range with the feet together. Okay. So that's drill number two. Here, 90 degrees, swing as fast as possible. Try to get the hands to 90 degrees again. So feet together. Drill number three is I want to include the follow through position. Okay, it's re really important. As I mentioned earlier, you're gonna make sure you rotate the body correctly in order to release the club on plane. So I'd like for you to get to a follow-through position where you can see more of my right palm, my right hand compared to my left hand. Okay, you should barely see my glove at this position. This is after the release position, we should get the club to this position and then follow through. So I'd like for you to start the club from this position, okay, with your chest and hip facing the target or the hip should be a bit left of target. From here, swing it back to about three quarter and try to swing it back to where you where you started okay so this will help you to release the club correctly you get a feeling of how the club should be extended away from our chest and then working on the rotation as well so again arms away from the chest push it as far as you can from this position swing it to three quarter and swing it back to this position all right that's all i have for today i hope that the drills that i've mentioned will be able to help you release the club better get it more solid more consistent and of course creating more speed will give you more distance as well if you guys do think that this video will help some of your friends, please share it for me, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon.